Hi everybody. Today we are going to do a review of the more advanced strums chord sheet that I gave you guys. So in this chord sheet, we have notes. And these notes have a flat top on them, which signifies that they're not melody notes to be played, but they're timing symbols for our chords. Okay? So if you look down on the second exercise, when you just have a single note, like this first note here, that's not connected to any other notes, that's a quarter note. A quarter note is, equals one count. So the previous chord exercises that we've done, we've been strumming quarter notes. If the count is one, two, three, four, we strum on each count. Okay, in our first exercise here, we are going to have eighth notes. So when the notes are connected by this line here, that turns them into eighth notes. Eighth notes go twice as fast as the count of the music. In other words, you're going to strum twice for each count, each of the four counts. Above the notes, we have these symbols. That, the symbol that looks like an upside-down U means to strum down. The symbol that looks like a V means to strum up. So in this exercise, we'd be strumming, alternating down, up, down, up, two strums for each count, each of the four counts. Okay, and we use the chords D, A7, then we go back to D and go to G. Okay, so I'm going to do that for you. Um, it's got a repeat sign at the end, which means we're supposed to do it twice, so I'm going to play it two times through for you. Okay, the first time through I'm going to count, the second time I'm going to stop counting and just continue playing. Okay, one, two, three, four. So there's our first exercise, the basic down up strum. Now we're going to do variation one. So in variation one, our first note is a quarter note. So that means our first strum lasts for a full count. The rest of our strums are eighth notes, so they'll, that will be two strums per count. And we're going to strum down, down, up, down, up, down, up. The reason it says miss next to the first strum is because you're going to strum down, you're going to bring your hand back up, but you're going to miss the strings because we don't want an up strum after that first chord. Okay, so now I'll play that one for you. Same thing, I'm, it's got a repeat sign, so I'm going to do it twice. I'll count the first time through and then just play the second time through. One, two, three, four. One, And now we're going to do variation number two. On variation number two, we have a quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, two more eighth notes for our measure. So that's going to go down, down, up, down, down, up. We can count that one, two, and three, four, and. So let me get that up on my computer screen here. Okay, and in this we're going to use D, E minor, D, A7. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and 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 repeat.
so there are your three more advanced strum exercises. Try to practice those a little bit before our next class. Okay, thanks. See you guys later.